Elphaba Throp, a teenager from Munchkinland, claims to have been in contact with the boy who lived. She says they met on an online forum for humans struggling with magical powers and have been chatting every day for the past four months. Mr Potter suggested that they meet at King's Cross Station as one of the platforms holds a special meaning for him. It doesn't, it doesn't say platform nine three quarters. It just says nine. Ms. Throp has become a recent internet sensation with her YouTube videos encouraging other young people with magical powers. But it's her recent alleged romance with Harry Potter that has really got her fans going. It's, you know, you're already a statement, so you might as well be more of one. We just had this instant connection. I mean, like, I've been a fan of Harry's work for years, and to have the opportunity to pick his brains about people living with our condition was hugely beneficial. I personally don't like the term struggle because I don't think that my powers impact my life in a negative way. And that's why I've been such a huge advocate for change because we're just regular people and we want to use our power for the greater good. But we need further understanding and further support on how to like, control our impulses. Two weeks ago, Elphaba finally really opened up to her fan base about her correspondence with Harry. Have I actually understood... Harry Potter has just sent me an email. And he wants to meet me at platform nine and three quarters. When I meet the wizard, everything will fall into place. We'll start fighting for our rights. No magic kid left behind. And we'll restore our rightful place in society's hierarchy. We're gonna be friends, we're gonna be lovers. We're and he'd like watched one of my videos and found it really encouraging. And he said he wanted to get to know me like offline. So um, he asked me what Hogwarts house I'd be in and he said it'd be Slytherin. And I was like, well, I, I personally identify more with Hufflepuff. Like, they're all about justice and loyalty, and that's basically my main message. I mean, that and veganism. And since folks here too always seem to be fixated on my verdigree, would it be alright by you if you just focused on you? Of course, yes, it's important to me. I'm pushing boundaries, can't you see? And that's why I'll stay green. It's important to me. And that's why I'll stay green. It's important to me. I want to be taken seriously. So this isn't really about politics, is it? I mean, like, I don't want to say the word love yet, but... I do really believe that a romantic connection between us, like a romantic partnership, could be like hugely beneficial for our community. Harry. So, how can you be sure you've been actually talking to Harry Potter? I just know. You don't have to believe me, but I've had a vision. Almost like a prophecy that one day I would meet a wizard. You will understand. You're not magic. Unlimited. Our futures are unlimited. I've just had a vision almost like a prophecy. I know. It sounds truly crazy. And true, the vision's hazy. But I swear someday there'll be a celebration throughout Oz that's all to do 